Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Sid, a.k.a. Vicious274, coming at you with another review. And this time it's for Affliction Fingerboards. Now, Affliction also has a YouTube channel by the name of PhilB1 Kenobi. I'll have it down here so you guys can go check out his channel and subscribe. Also, I'll put the uh, website down here so you guys can go check out the other products. The product I'm reviewing today is the picnic table. Now, this obstacle, when it was shipped, came in a box... Um, surrounded with bubble wrap and um, some newspaper really was around it but the thing that I was really impressed with was they put through in a couple of air um, airbag pillows which made sure that this thing was not going to get damaged um, when it comes to the construction very sturdy um, obviously when you're putting wooden obstacles together there's going to be a few nail holes and you can see there is one right there and there is one right there but guys it doesn't affect the um, the performance at all. They also have them in the benches. Here you guys can see one there, and then one right there. Now with the gluing, you can't even hardly see any of the glue, which I was really impressed with because that's pretty hard to do. So excellent construction. The wood that he uses, I don't, I don't know what type of wood it is, but it is solid stuff. I mean, look at the plies. There's like nine plies, I believe it is. It's fantastic. Now, the thing I really, really loved about this obstacle was the coping. He made sure that the coping was flush with the wood. So, like, there's no grab at all. So, when you're landing a trick, you don't have to worry about your wheel getting uh, getting caught if you want to kick, flip off or anything like that. Very well done. Um, it's about, I'd say it's about 10 inches long. The top looks like it's about 4 four and somewhat inches wide and the benches are about an inch inch and a half wide now my only critique on this obstacle it's well constructed a lot of fun as long as long as you're creative you can do all kinds of combos with this thing my only critique is if you're going to be using a wide deck or wide trucks what you might want to do is probably just push out the benches just a little bit more so that way if you want to like kick flip off of the um, off of the bench part it'd be a lot easier because I've noticed that when I tried to kick flip off of here it kind of gets caught so my only critique um, to affliction fingerboards would be to bring out the bench seats just a little bit so this obstacle sells for I believe it's 1995 um, shipping depends all on where it's getting shipped to so I'm not going to talk about shipping but they do have an assortment of all kinds of other amazing products they have decks which are super cheap and all kinds of amazing obstacles they have a um an afx afx ledge um they also have a mini afx ledge a stair set with a rail uh pole banks mini benches um they have a double half pipe which is a half pipe on one side a half pipe on the other side and then it makes a spine in the middle the thing is a monster um they got they got everything that you need so go check out the website down here um, amazing products at Affliction Fingerboards. Now, another thing that I forgot to mention is you also have the option of uh, having your obstacles finished or non-finished. I prefer mine non-finished, which means they're not lacquered. Uh, that's just my own personal preference because it, I find that it just slides a lot smoother. That, again, is just to me. But if you want to have them lacquered, all you have to do is request it. So fix Affliction Fingerboards, actually, I noticed that they came on the scene not too long ago and he is blowing up and the reason why is because they are durable products and at affordable prices so guys if you're looking to get a picnic table a lot of times other uh, websites are sold out or um, they're a little bit more expensive but you know that's how it goes but with this one 1995. I think the pole bank is like 8.95. Their decks range from like 11 to 16 dollars. Excellent products. So I sessioned this one for a little bit. The coping was really smooth too. My trucks glided real easy on it. Board slides no problem. Another thing that I was really impressed with was how smooth it was to grind on just the wood. The wood is sanded in a way where it kind of has like a little curve. Let's see if you guys could see it. Right there, it's like curved in. So it kind of like does a nice slide. You won't get caught on anything. All right. Affliction Fingerboards is the place to go to get products that you need. All the information that you need is going to be down here. So once you get your obstacles, keep fingerboarding. Two fingers. Peace.